Hi, my name is Sam Farmer, and I'm going to take a quick look at one of the new tags in Cold Fusion 8 called CFDiv. Let's see it in action. Here we have a generic website with some general content on the left, in this case a div that's floating left, and a poll in another div. So I'm going to go ahead and say Cold Fusion 8 is awesome. When I take the poll, the form is submitted via Ajax, and the results come back and are loaded into that same div. This is actually a flash generated chart by Cold Fusion. I can also click on a just standard link, I don't have to be submitting forms, and pull up more content. As you can see, the URL has not changed. So let's take a look at the code. So here we have the index.cfm page, and here is the new CFDiv tag. First attribute of which is bind. We're binding here to a URL called poll.cfm. Below that we have the style information. You can also bind to CFCs and in a later screencast I'll go through binding in a little greater detail. Above that we have this other div which has the general content in it. And then on line 5 we have the Ajax import tag. Another new tag. And we use this tag to import the ColdFusion JavaScript libraries that will be used by any pages that we bind to um, to make sure that they're there when the page is loaded. So in this case we're importing the CF form because on poll.cfm we are using the CF form tag. Um, CF form will create a HTML form and because it's within a CF div it will always submit via Ajax. Here we have the results.cfm as the action. So let's take a look at results.cfm. And on results.cfm, this is where we would normally do some database work, inserting the poll response and pulling back the current poll numbers. When I just didn't do it on this one. But I did create a little CF chart which pulled back that kind of pie chart. Then down at the bottom here we have an ahref with a new cold fusion function within it called ajax link. And ajax link will make sure that whatever link you're going to um, will be retrieved via ajax and the content will stay within the cf div. So in this case it went to other.cfm and other.cfm is you know, kind of just a standard page you saw at the end there. So that's a very quick overview of some of the new features of the CF div tag. In a later screencast I will go through binding in a little greater detail. Um, but that's the CF div tag, it's a very powerful tag. Speak to you later.